Hi, and welcome back. I'm real excited to take you on an interior tour of this 2014 Dynamax DynaQuest. As I mentioned in the exterior video, this is a real rare opportunity to get a used coach in such great condition and such low miles. As we pan around on the interior of this coach, you're gonna see just what I'm talking about. You know, this coach is just barely a year old, has just a little over 6,000 miles on it. It's been garage kept. The people took extremely good care of it, and you can see here the condition of all of the furniture. There's no blemishes, there's no scratches, there's no marks. You can see here as we go to the sofa hide -a bed there's seat belts underneath it. There's also a slide out storage underneath it. Sofa unfolds and turns into a bed. Now we're gonna walk you around and show you a little bit of the storage compartments. You can see here there's plenty of overhead storage in it. It also has the multiplex digital switch panels so you can control the lighting levels and the light intensities from several different spots on the coach. There's quite a bit of storage here in the galley area. Here we're going to show you the Corian countertop. It has a double bowl undermount sink with the Corian sink covers on it. it. Has a residential style sprayer with the pull out handle on it. We're going to pan over here and show you the two burner gas stove, it's in, recessed inside the counters. When the covers are on, you have a little bit extra counter space on it. As you can see, when we pull the covers off, everything is just as if it was off the showroom. It'd be it's very hard to even tell that this coach was even driven. We're gonna move up here and show you the convection microwave. For those of you that don't know, you can use this as a microwave or just a regular oven to bake in. I'm really a big fan of the color of the inside of this coach. Now we're going to pan around to the other side of the coach. and. going to show you the slide out pantry. This is a pretty nifty design. There's lots of storage in here for, you know, spices, macaroni and cheese, uh, soup cans. It's a real nice utilization of space and it's real easy to see the products that are stacked on it. You can adjust the shelves up and down on the pantry rack. It's self-locking, so when you close it, it locks so it doesn't slide out back and forth. I think it's just a, a really nice utilization of space. Now we're going to go ahead and take a peek into the refrigerator. You can see there's quite a bit of space in here. There's lots of room up inside the freezer. This is a, a dual fuel refrigerator, so it'll run on 110 or liquefied propane LP gas, if you will. It's really nice because you can set it to auto select and if for some reason you have a power outage, it'll switch automatically to propane so your groceries inside the fridge uh, never go bad. Now we're going to move underneath the refrigerator and give you a quick peek at the fuses and the circuit breakers on this coach. They're all located right behind them black panels. Now we're going to move around into the dinette. We're going to show you how you convert this into a sleeping area if you'd like. You just remove the cushions, pull a lever, slide the table down, and then the cushions will lay out. 
Here there is one seat belt in the forward facing seat on the dinette, which is pretty handy if you have a kid that wants to play a game or something while you're traveling down the road. This is where the main entertainment center is stored for the main TV in the front of the coach. Here's a shot of the television. These are all high definition. Here's a little video of Outdoor Idaho. We try to provide that DVD with every coach you buy from us. Now we're going to go ahead and enter into the middle of the coach, which is this coach is equipped with a mid bath. Here's a nice shot of the vanity. You can see the multiplex wiring there on the left, the switch panel. Real nice utilization of space inside of this coach. Here's a peek inside the medicine cabinet. This coach is equipped with a tankless water heater. Here's the controls for it. And also notice there's a 110 outlet so you can run an electric razor. Real nice shower in this. I'm six foot, I would have no problem taking a shower inside of this shower right here. There's a nice skylight over the head. There's also shampoo and uh, soap dispensers mounted on the wall. Has a nice little tray to set soap on. As I've said before, just a real nice utilization of space. Now we're gonna move over to the other side of the bathroom. This coach is equipped with a all-in-one washer and dryer. You can see that when we open up the closet doors. If you decide you don't want the washer-dryer combo, you can remove it and then you can turn this space into a linen closet. There's also some storage above it and then also some slide-out drawers below the washer-dryer. Here's the macerator toilet, a porcelain, as we've talked before, the macerator, I'm just a huge fan of this type of toilet. They uh, emulsify all of the product before it goes into the waste tanks. It has a water saver mode. You can also push the number one and number two button at the same time and it'll evacuate the water out of the toilet bowl so it doesn't slosh around when you're driving down the road. This Dynamax really has a yacht-like feel of it. If you kind of like the marine type design, I think you'll really like this coach. Here we're gonna move into the bedroom. Now one thing that I really like about this design is the dual nightstands on them. It's really nice to have a place to be able to set your water bottles and your cell phone in the evening. This coach also has several lighting levels in it and little things like this just make being on vacation so much nicer. When you're getting dressed or you're getting ready to go out to an event, you got lots of lights. It's nice when you're laying in bed and you want to read a book to be able to vary the lighting intensity. You can also notice up between the two lights, there's a switch panel there so you can turn the lights on and off from being in bed. You know, I'm a big fan of having the dual nightstands and it's nice to have a nightstand to put your water bottle on in the evening. This coach has the outlets there, so you can each have a cell phone. Here, this coach has the Bose sound system in it. Also has a Samsung Blu-ray disc player on it. It is satellite ready in the bedroom. 
Nice his and her storage closets to the left and right of the television in this coach. Lots of mirrors that really helps make the room look a little bit bigger. Here's some slide out drawers underneath the closet. When you lift up the bed, there's storage underneath. It's really a nice place to store extra blankets and things like that. Now we're gonna kind of progress you forward in the coach a little bit so you can kind of get a shot of what it looks like moving forward into the coach. This shot's just showing a little bit of the overhead storage. It's kind of a nice place to keep your wallet or things like that. Storage on the left side as well. Great place to keep, you know, registration and things like that that the driver may want to keep handy. Behind this door is all of the controls of the coach. One thing I do like about this coach is that the controls are placed up high, so they're more at eye level. As I get older, I have a harder time seeing, and it's real nice to have things up to my eye level so that I don't have to hunch down when I'm trying to program or turn something on or off. As we get to the bottom here, we're gonna start back over and talk about each individual control. This coach is equipped with the HWH hydraulic room slides. It also has the HWH auto leveling program. So when you pull into a park, you just push the auto level and the hydraulic jacks come out. Here we're gonna give you a shot showing the jacks coming out of the coach and they'll level the coach on their own. You don't have to do anything other than touch the auto level button, which is just a really nice feature to have. This is just the condition of the propane, battery, fresh water, black water, and gray tanks, the status of them. This has a two-zoned air conditioning system in it, so you can set the cooling zones for the front and the back of the coach. Here's a Xantrex auto gen start feature, so you can set the generator to start predetermined times or based on voltages. Battery disconnect buttons, generator start button, and the tank heater button here. I thought that was very well done by Dynamax. Now we're gonna go ahead and pan around into the cab of this coach and give you an overview of the chassis controls and the functions of all of them. We're gonna be working on a video to kind of explain some of the reasons and benefits of a Class C coach over a Class A, but I wanna pause the camera right here for a minute and imagine that both of you are sitting in the driver and passenger seat. And one of the things that people like about a Class C is that when you're having a conversation going down the road, you sit quite a bit closer in a Class C than you would a Class A. So talking back and forth is a lot easier. You know, you're just 20 inches apart between your shoulders and it's nice to have that conversation. A lot of the things that people like about these Freightliners is the navigation screen can be viewed by the driver and the passenger. So if you're downtown Chicago driving this thing and you need navigation, it's very easy for the passenger to lean over and run the navigation system or run the air conditioning and do all that. It's kind of a shared experience when you're in the driver's compartment of one of these Freightliners. The other thing that I've mentioned before that people like about a Class C is Having the hood in front of you, it really gives you a good reference point when you're driving the coach as to where you are in space. You know, on a Class C like this, the mirrors are located like they would be on a pickup. When you drive a Class A, the mirrors are pushed way out in front of the windshield, and it just gives you a whole different reference of where you are in space. 
and people that own these Class C's, the Dynamax or the Renegades that we sell, really feel very comfortable and natural. They feel like they've just climbed inside of their pickup or their Suburban. They, they have that same kind of feeling when they're driving these things. This coach is equipped with a 45-channel Cobra radio, and to many of you, you may say, well, I'll never use it, but it's really nice when you're trying to find a truck stop on the freeway to fuel up, you can talk to another trucker. This coach is equipped with air parking brakes and air brakes. Has a touchscreen navigation system in it. Uh, if you buy this coach, we'd be glad to spend some time with you and walk you through all the function. It has a right and left camera as well as a rear camera on it. Has full navigation and split screen. Here you can see a few of the functions and I want to talk just a little bit about the transmission in this. This coach is equipped with the Allison 3000 series and to kind of explain transmissions really quick to you is a GMC pickup would, with a diesel would be equipped with a 1000 series transmission. Most of the tow trucks that we build on Freightliners, Peterbilts, Kenworth, in that 26,000 pound GVW class would be equipped with a 2000 series transmission. And then when we move up into the larger trucks, they would be equipped with the 3000 series. And this coach has the 3000 series transmission. I think it's just an absolute bulletproof transmission. It's designed to last upwards of a million miles. I just can't say enough about the quality of the 3000 series transmission. We went through most of the controls pretty quick on this coach, but I can assure you we're going to spend all the time in the world with you when you come to pick up this coach and make sure that you have a full understanding of how everything works on the coach and what all the functions are on this coach. Thank you for your time today and taking the time to watch this video. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. As always, thanks for your time.